Ahoy Scallywags, welcome to the Pirate Pat YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a parrot out of a pineapple. Now, kids, you must get an adult to help you with this because we do use some sharp knives as well. So get an adult, it's great fun, but there's lots that you can help do. We just need the adults to do the, the bits with the knives, okay? So they're very, very sharp. I must point that out to your children. Don't do this on your own with sharp knives, okay? Now, we've got a giant pineapple, which I picked up from Morrison's supermarket. It was an absolute bargain, Scallywags. That noise you can hear in the background, that I'll just point out to you, is our new pirate edition, the little kitten which we found, which was lost called Treasure. She's just down there, she's a little bit mischievous. She's settling in quite well down there. As you can see, she's playing with Pirate Rio Paphos's toys as well. Going under the little bridge there, showing off now for the camera, I think. Have you finished now, Pirate Treasure, the kitten, so I can carry on with my video? Have you finished there? Uh, she's looking at getting up there on the basket, I think. Are you going up there, are you, so I can carry on? Or are you just gonna carry on playing with Pirate Rio Paphos's toys? Oh, I think she's she's looking to get into some mischief, I think. I think we might be safe to carry on now for a moment. Right, so, as I was saying, we've got a real bargain at Morrison Supermarket with this pineapple. Only one pound. Absolutely fantastic. So it's not breaking the bank. So first of all, we'll take this wrapper off there, kids, like so. Let's put that out of the way. Now, as you can see, I have got some sharp knives here. So I must point out again, you must get an adult to help you with those scallywags at home. I've got some raisins. I've also got some Del Monte fruit cocktail. You'll see what that's for in a little while. A carrot, bit of a funny shape on there. And some cocktail sticks as well. So to start off, we need to cut a section off the pineapple. So I'm going to cut it roughly about there, I think. So. This is a job for one of your adults. Just cut through the top of the pineapple like so. Just pull the knife out of the way. Now this section is going to be your parrot. Now, we need somewhere for the parrot to sit. So we're going to use the bottom section of the pineapple for the parrot to sit in. So again, a sharp knife, scallywag, so get an adult to do this bit for you. And what we're gonna do is carve out the inside of the pineapple in there. Now, it's quite a rough texture on the pineapple scallywags, quite prickly on there, quite hard, and then very, very soft, and it smells absolutely fantastic. So, we're gonna start off by cutting out the center of the pineapple like this. Don't forget, get an adult to do this bit for you, scallywags, like so. Well, Scallywags, I had to stop for a minute there because my pirate wife, Pirate Coral, came in, caught me doing this, and she told me off because I wasn't using a chopping board. Now, you must use a chopping board. My pirate wife told me this is an antique table and I mustn't be cutting on it with sharp knives, so I'm now using a chopping board, something that I, I really forgot, to be honest, but now I know. So, as you can see, we're just gradually carving out the center of the pineapple. I'm putting the pineapple, cutting it into little bits as well, because we might use that later. And we are gonna eat that later as well. My pirate children, Pirate Jake, Pirate Pearl, and Pirate Rio Paphos are upstairs waiting for a little feast with some pineapple a little bit later. So as you can see, I'm just slowly, slowly chopping away the center of the pineapple. This is another job for the adults' children as well, because these are very sharp knives. As you can see, just carving away the middle of the pineapple. So as you can see, Scallywags, I've put most of the pineapple that I've cut, carved out of the middle of the pineapple itself in there, because we're gonna use that in a little while. As you can see, it's cut out in there. This is where your parrot is going to sit a little bit later on. So I'm gonna pop that to one side now as well, and then we're going to start making the parrot. Again, Scallywags, this is where your adult comes in because what we're gonna do, we're gonna take away the top sections of the pineapple there and we need to make the parrot's head. So, here we go, let's get the knife and we'll start 
as you can see, like this, just chopping away at the pineapple, like so. Get rid of all these outer sections, like so. Because this is the parrot's going to be the parrot's head, so we've got to carve the shape of a parrot's head on there as well. These bits will be going in the bin very shortly. So now we've got rid of those bits. Now we need to start making the shape of a parrot's head. So get your adult to start carving away. And basically we're going to make a round section there for the parrot's head. So Scallywags, you should now have something like this if your adult's done it correctly. <clears throat> the outside sections we got here, we're going to put this in our compost outside. We put potato peelings and all sorts of things like that in our compost because it's great for the garden. We put it on the plants, helps them grow and everything. So this basically, Scallywags, is going to be your parrot which is going to be sitting on here very, very soon, okay? So we're going to get rid of these sections here and then I'll show you what to do next. So now we're going to get your carrot scallywags. This is going to be the beak. You can do this however you like. Again, get an adult to help you. We're going to cut a section off the carrot like so. Now you can peel the carrot to make it shiny if you like. You can cut it into a point. I think I quite like the shape of that and I think that might look quite cool actually. So what we're going to do now scallywags, again get an adult to help you. We need a cocktail stick. I'm going to break my cocktail stick in half, like so. I'm going to put one section inside the carrot, like that. And then this is going to be his beak. So as you can see, that is going to be the parrot's beak in there, like so, scallywags. Like I said, you can cut that to more of a point if you like, as well. All right, now, so we've got his beak done. I think we need a couple of eyes. So this is where your raisins come in. So we're going to get a couple of raisins out of there, scallywags, like so. And again, with the help of an adult, if you just cut out a little section in there where we can put the raisin in, like that, just cut the bit of the pineapple out. You can push the raisin in there to give him an eye. And you can also do the same the other side. So, so he's got an eye on the other side as well, scallywags like that. And then, now you've got two options. You can actually leave him, so he's just peering inside the pineapple like that. Or you can use the other half of the cocktail stick and you can actually push that inside him there and into the pineapple like so. Now, not finished there, scallywags. Entirely up to you now, you can put fresh grapes inside the little bowl of the pineapple, which makes the parrot look like he's eating the fruit, which looks really nice, especially if you're having a barbecue at home or um, anything like that, or a buffet or anything like that, a party. Um, so you can use the pineapple there that you've already cut out of the pineapple itself. What we like to do, Scallywags, is use the Del Monte fruit cocktail. Um, we open it up. Pour it in there so it looks really colourful as well because you've got cherries, grapes, pear, uh, peach, pineapple again. Um, that looks really nice because it makes it look really, really colourful and it makes it look like your parrot is eating the fruit. Well, Scallywags, like I was saying, you can do anything with your parrot. You can make him look however you like. Now, just to show you some alterations to the original version, as you can see now, I've actually shaped his beak a little bit so you can sort of see two parts of his beak now um, you can even go one step further scallywags and we can make him into a bit of a cockatoo with a little thing on his head so if you get an adult to help you again if you cut a few of the leaves off the top of the pineapple like so which are quite tough cut the ones that you can't really see from underneath if you can get them We'll just cut a few off, just so you get a bit of an idea, Scallywags. 
like so. They're quite tough to cut, tougher than you think. And then if you get an adult, just do probably cut a little slot in the top of the parrot's head like this. And then hopefully we should be able to just slide these in there. Let's have a look, see if we can do it. It sounds like a good idea. So far, so good. In fact, I think two's plenty actually. That looks quite good. So there's a bit of an alternative for you, Scallywags. Let's bring him in a little bit like that. So we've changed his beak a little bit. You can do whatever you like. You can have a smaller head. We've got a little fan on the cockatoo's head there. You've got his eyes there as well. Now, we also like a lot of oranges in our house. So um, the Satsuma ones, quite easy to peel for you as well, Scallywags, little children. So you can put those little sections in there, fill it up. You can mix those. You can put grapes in there. Even strawberries are quite popular as well. You can put some strawberries in there. You can make a bit of a fruit salad. Or like I said before, you can use a tinned fruit as well. Del Monte, really good one to get, get nice and colourful, got red cherries in there as well, so that looks quite attractive inside the pineapple. So, there you go Scallywags, another idea for you, I hope you enjoyed that, don't forget to get an adult to help you with the sharp tools and the scissors, okay, but there's lots that you can do to help your adult by making these animals with fruits, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up, Scallywag. Subscribe to the Pirate Pat channel. And leave us some comments in the box below. Arr!